start. Uh, are you nervous, excited, all of the above? How are, how are you just feeling generally? Yeah, I would say you try to treat it like any other outing, and every outing comes with you know nerves and anxiousness to get going. So that's kind of where I would say everybody's at going into a new season. You're kind of just anxious to get out there and ready to go. When we talked to both your manager and pitching coach, they said what they're going to be looking for is just like, is he being himself? Is he not trying to do too much? Do you have a, a routine or whatever to kind of try and keep yourself anchored or whatever word you want to use for not doing too much? I would say it's just rooted in the preparation. And if I can prepare myself every week like I have in the past, you know, positive or negative results, you can kind of you know, sleep well at night knowing that you did everything you could to prepare, so that's kind of where I'm at. And is there anything specifically that you are looking for? You know, what, at the end of the night when you walk off the mound, is there going to be one thing where you're like, if I do this, it will have been a success? I would say just compete and um, do so every pitch and stay, you know, focus one pitch at a time and not trying to focus on you know, the bigger picture of a whole outing, just whatever I can control, which is the next pitch. And, if I can do that and stay within each pitch, then I'd be pretty happy. What do you think you think you improved on most this spring training? I was working on just feel for the off-speed pitches and kind of the shape of a slider and feel for a changeup. So I would say there was a lot going into it, but overall I would say just developing, you know, my weapons as a pitcher and sort of the, the numerous tools and the the repertoire that you have I, that's sort of what I worked on continuing to progress and I, I think uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it went so with the shape of the slider is that some of that uh, pitch construction kind of stuff that you were working on yes the abbreviated camp of course you worked out in the offseason too what do you think the pitch count is the ball for heading into these first few times I mean I would be good to, I feel good my last Outing, I want to say I threw about 65 pitches and, you know, felt good. So whatever you can go up from there, 80, 85, I'd be good for. But I don't know if, I don't know what the pitch count's going to be. So I'm good for whatever they, they throw me for. If you're on a deserted island and the only food you have is peanut butter, are you going to starve to death? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Getting a lot of play with that, by the way. So they're having fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird thing, but I wish I liked peanut butter. It's an easy snack, but no, I don't. You've got it. It's not just you in the rotation. Like this rotation here is pretty cool. Riggins and Bradford. You've got a few guys. Kent. Um, how is that kind of coming together for you guys as a as a rotation? Is it too early to ask that question? Is there, you know. Is, as far as like a team building I don't know, chemistry, I guess is the word. How's, how's that going? I mean, I think from the start of the spring, pitchers kind of stay with pitchers and that's just kind of the way baseball goes. And I think we've all become kind of closer and learned about learned about each other and the way we, the way we go to work and um, go about our business. And uh, I think you can learn a lot from guys like that. It's kind of similar coming from Vanderbilt. There's a lot of good pitchers on that pitching staff and you, you bounce ideas off each other. I've played catch with probably every guy on our staff now this spring. So, um, you know, there's just different things that you could take and um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, this is a dumb one, but what's, what's a cleaner uniform, this one or Vanderbilt? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a big uniform guy. I like them both. All right, all right. Good, good answer. What are your initial thoughts on the DFW area? I mean, you grew up in, in the big city. What are your first thoughts being around here and saying this is kind of what eventually your, your future area will be like once you make the majors? Yeah, it seems awesome. I mean, this stadium, um, the town of Frisco and um, just the area around it seems seems really great so far. Obviously, I haven't gotten to explore it a bunch, but um, we had a good barbecue uh, in Plano, I believe, yesterday, and it was it was really good. So, <laughs> I mean, I've heard there's a lot of good food options around here, um, similar to Nashville, coming from Nashville, kind of the city city feel, but not too big. Um, that's kind of what it feels like a little bit, and I, I'm liking it so far. Speaking of food, have you tried Waterbury yet? <laughs> yes, yeah. Do they have them in Nashville? Um, they don't, at least near Vanderbilt's campus, and they didn't in New Jersey, obviously, but out in Arizona they had them, so I had, some, I had it somewhere. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the right do. answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. Good. Yeah. Thank you.